everyone and welcome to Organize with Olivia. Today my first video will be featuring my Erin Condren unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and walk through the unboxing and really my first impressions and then give you a little bit of insight on my planner journey thus far. So let me go ahead and take this out of the box. I can't do it on camera because my filming setup is not going to allow for the box to be on here like that. So I'm going to go offline, take this out and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. So we're back gonna go ahead and start with the freebies on the top so we have this enjoy gift label and then we have this postcard being kind never goes out of style I actually do use these I've used these a couple times to just hang up in my office and I've actually sent one to my a family member once <laughs> so those are always great for decor and so we'll go ahead and start with the freebies here is the uh, little sticker sheet that came with I think there might still be coming with every order I'm not sure I keep seeing Erin Condon posting stuff saying that the freebies um are limited last call for free freebies or something this is just the right size for me though I actually don't purchase her sticker books because I use all Etsy stickers and printables but this is this is nice I think it's real pretty I like the rose gold metallic on here so to me this looks like some um, thicker bottom washi some skinny bottom washi and some checklists then we have some nice little extras on the side I'll probably use this for like a monthly view or something Probably not in my weekly because I have some sticker kits planned out. So that's really cute. And then we have this beautiful take note notebook. Go ahead and grab it out. Yeah. Oh, it's stuck in here. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Got it out. Oh, well, it feels really good. I really like the color. It's really bright. Definitely going to be using this for a budget journal, and I'm going to get more into that when I discuss something that I use in my planner to also budget. This is going to correlate with that really well. Really pretty, though. Really, really pretty. And I know there's a there's a coupon code in, I think, everyone's notebook for 10% off. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the planner. Just a little bit before I get into this, let me get this off. I do use these rulers. I like the... I like to use them to help me get my washi and stuff off. Put that to the side. Uh, here's the last Erin Condren planner that I actually was working out of. This is from 2015, 2016. I did get the rose gold coil. I have the original cover back on here, but this is the horizontal. So this is the last time I had an EC planner for you know planning planning. And then I had a wedding planner. Um, I didn't actually purchase last year. Here's my wedding planner. I didn't purchase last year because I was so involved in planning my wedding. I did not have to I did not have time to plan as a hobby because that's kind of how, you know, with the stickers and things, this is this is a hobby to me and it's really fun. It's a nice getaway, a de-stressor. I didn't have time for that, so I stepped away. So I really can't compare this planner to all of the updates from last year. I'm really just giving this unboxing as my first impressions the things that i like about all of the updates and also giving you a little overview of my functional planning style and also giving you kind of an update or a preview on what's to come with my channel so let's go ahead and jump into this i think this let me look at my invoice really quick this cover here is the oh let's see watercolor splash so I went with something a little bit more muted at first I wanted like one of the metallic covers but I figure I might not even change it out and if I do want something different I'll go ahead and just order one of the interchangeable covers because that's what's nice about Erin Condren her um, her covers are interchangeable now I did go with the black coil this is my first time getting a black coil um, I would I really wanted I was gonna jump and get the coil you know the new planner last year but I started to work out of my Kiki K with my so much crafting inserts. So here's what that looks like. Just show you a few inserts real quick or a few layouts. So, uh oh, I would flip to the blank week when I stopped planning. Here's my wedding week. So just something really functional, really simple. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to get back to myself. I've graduated from graduate school. I'm going to really focus on this planning and really get back into the community because I love it. So let's go ahead with the review, my, re my impressions, and get through this. All right. So first we have the plan for it pouch. I actually don't use the actual pouches, so I'm going to start a giveaway pile with it. But I do use the goodies inside. All right. So the compliment cards, I love these. 
I use these to kind of write little love sweet notes to my husband actually and also I just like to throw them in gifts you know just write a cute little message on the back happy birthday happy Valentine's Day and toss it into a, a package or something so those will be kept these are some coupon codes for your future purchases right yeah so everybody gets their own little special codes so that's what you'll find in there and then Erin Condren definitely is kicking it back old school when I first got the planner so I started planning with Erin Condren's in 2011 I think I got a 2011 2012 planner if that's how it it worked um maybe not but I used Erin Condren when I was in college and undergrad and it really helped me organize things but it was an all pen planner all pen planner at that point um, so I remember getting these in here and I know a lot of, I've watched a few other unboxings and people are really excited about seeing these again. And I have a lot of birthdays coming up in the summer, so that'll be helpful, useful. And here's just the index card that kind of tells you what, what you have and how to use your stuff. And like I said about this, um, when I, when they were put into the planner, you know, it didn't really have an option to either coil it in or not. Um, I used it. I just would stick little extra stickers in the back, but I've since found that it makes my planner a little bit too bulky. And I have a few other like carrying cases that I use for my stickers and stuff. So I will go ahead and start a giveaway pile. Put that to the side. So let's go ahead and get into the planner. So we have the wet erase marker area. This is new to me. Like I said, I didn't get the planner last year. So this is the first time I've ever seen this. I will definitely utilize it. Just got to get some wet erase markers. And then we have the vellum, which my vellum in my last planner was rose gold. I just thought it was the best luxurious item that they had added to the planner for some time. Really excited about that. And then we have the, you know, the on the go intro page so typically in this area I put my email I don't pull my full name even though you guys can see my full name on the cover but I will put my email just in case you know someone sees this they can shoot me an email if you know if I lose it and hopefully I can get it back because I put a lot of stuff in here that's really cute then we have these other intro pages do all that you can and all that you thought you could not a little progress each day adds up to big results and this paper is so thick it's feeling good. Um, I didn't get the planner last year, but that's okay. I think I can still tell that there's a uh, paper upgrade, and I like that. So here we have the year at a glance. I'm going to definitely utilize this, probably use and track my leave usage for work. And also anything else that kind of stands out, I do work for a government facility so what i probably will end up doing is probably marking some of the federal holidays and things like that that we have off so that will this will be definitely useful definitely gonna plan to use that better because in the past past planner i didn't use it at all i don't think and then here i kind of been brainstorming a few different ideas of what i want to do with this and i'd like to use this as a to go to explore area so each month i'll kind of plot down a few new restaurants i want to try a few new entertaining um venues i want to try out you know maybe golfing miniature golfing or go-karts or things like that so me and my husband can try some new things try some new restaurants and also me and my family members can go and try some new restaurants I do like to brunch it up on Saturdays a lot, so that'll be this will be useful. Definitely going to use this, and you know, if I have any great ideas or I come up with a nice planning system to use, you know, some stickers in, I definitely will spend some time to film something on that. And so and then we're going to go ahead and jump right into the monthly area and the notes page. So for the notes page, I want to bring my old planner back out. And show you how I use this functionally in the past so here's just a review an overview of how I used August Let me flip it over. Um, so basically for this first column I'm going to do grocery or grocery stores and then use this circle here for bills this one for fuel and this one for miscellaneous when I was doing this back um, in 2015 2016 it was helping me so much because for the most part, if I saw that the miscellaneous column was getting really long, I knew I was spending too much and I needed to slow some things down. So that's going to be helpful. I'm definitely going to spend some time using that. And most of the time, I did just use all pen for that. I don't see myself using too many stickers. We'll see though. We'll, we'll see what some of the different shops come up with. And again, if you know anything inspiring comes through you know, my brain waves, I will upload something on how to use this, you know, with stickers or without, if you guys want to see that, if you'd be interested in it. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna flip through July weekly. I'm gonna go through the month, like show the monthly layout, then show a few of the weekly, but I'm gonna review the planner offline to make sure everything's okay, that none of my pages are upside down or nothing's misprinted. Um, because I don't want to spend too much time going through errors. If they are, I'll just contact customer service, you know, um, wh whenever I find that, if I do. Um, so here's the monthly view. Really cre clean and crisp. I really like it. Um, it gives a lot of creative freedom. In the past, what I've done with the monthly is use these areas to plot down bills and plot down big events like birthdays or if we're going to be doing large outings, if we're going to be out for an extended weekend. You know, just use it as functionally as I can. I've never used a monthly sticker kit for my monthly view before, but I'm not opposed to it. Again, if I see shops that bring something um, for this new planner um, that I like, I will use it and I will upload some, you know, how I, how I do that. Uh, and also in my past planner, I use this area here for reminders not necessarily goals but I have jewelry you know that I need to go get clean so it doesn't necessarily fall on a specific day within a month I just have to do it within that month so I'll put reminders on the side you know do oil change it just depends when I want to do it or anything like that so that's kind of how I use this functionally I'm definitely open to more ideas and I'm gonna be really excited I'm gonna start focusing more on how to kind of enhance and expand how I use this so I will be looking for videos on that and we're gonna go into the week view. This weekly layout is awesome. I know that some planner friends were kind of upset about the headers not being there, but luckily, Scribble Prince Call, um, a Andrea from Scribble Prince Call went through and showed how her sticker, shit, sticker sheets can be used um, to, can be used without error in these. I mean, there's not much space. I think that she said there may have been a, a little bit of a difference down here with the washi and the one of the bottom boxes or little things going over. But for the most part, I think that um, this is going to be used just like I would have used it before. Um, I'm more of a functional planner at times, but if I know that I'm gonna have a lighter week, I'm gonna do no white space. But that's why I got a vertical this year. I didn't have a vertical. Um, in 2015 2016 and I was having serious FOMO I really wanted to use some of the better sticker kits that I seen coming out and a lot of people have really great content coming out so that's really what I'm gonna be bringing to this channel some functional and some no white space layouts you know and it's just I'm super excited so let's go ahead and just flip through mm -hmm. so, this paper is awesome I like it. It is a little, um, I guess it looks a little off-white compared to what some other people have said. Let me see if I can really tell the difference. Let me go to a blank. Oh, here. Yeah, it's a bit of a difference. Not too much. I mean, the paper... I really like the paper. I think that every year Erin Condren really does listen and she's doing her best to kind of give us what we want. So I can really appreciate that. This is beautiful. I really like the the soft hints of colors throughout the planner is really what attracted me to the neutral too. While still allowing for that creative freedom. Green. All right, so as I go through this, oh, I just wanna say, I'd love to hear some ideas of what you guys would like to see on this channel. Obviously, it's extremely new, but I wanna, I really wanna cater to viewers and I really wanna be able to bring some content that everybody be interested in. Give me some ideas, any sticker shops that you're interested in that you haven't really seen a lot of YouTubers review, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that. I have a little paper prints Etsy sticker haul coming up. I actually took part in the Planner Boss Collective. I went ahead and spent, I think I ordered from about three shops, so that Etsy haul will be coming up. I have a plan with me scheduled in my um, Kiki K here, my wonderful Kiki K, and those are coming up, so that will be in the So Much Crafting inserts. But just leave me some options or some some ideas down below and I definitely will go through, you know, go through 
um, those suggestions if I if I receive some so I can bring you guys some content that you actually are gonna view so here are all the note pages these dot grid lines I think this would be really useful too for bill tracking like if you don't get the notebook or if you use the notebook for something else you could definitely just plot some lines here and and utilize this really well for like debt repayment budget um, budget tracking and things like that and then we have the coloring pages which I'm excited I've been looking for an adult coloring book so now pretty excited that these are just stuck back in here so I can see if I'm driving with it if not then I don't have to buy it now <laughs> but this is super pretty and then we have the mid-century circles, which I think this is a theme that was last year, so I missed out on this. So at least I can get a little taste of it. And then we have 2019. That is, it's crazy to think about 2019, but I'm sure I have some weddings and things coming up. So I definitely will use, use this, utilize this for that, for dates like that and anything else exciting coming up. All right, so then we have the last page right before the stickers. Your best accomplishment isn't that you finish, it's that you have the courage to start. Oh, she always is so encouraging, Erin Condren, Erin Condren. Okay, so now we have this sticker. It looks like something's on my sticker. Maybe it's just like ink. But oh, I just scratched the metallic. Oops. All right, so we have the stickers here. She really outdid herself with these stickers this year. Um, I remember, let me see if I have some of the stickers for my 2015-2016 planner. She's really come a long way. I really wish I still had my old, <laughs> my old, um, my older planners to show you the stickers, but these are essentially the same thing. So these were the stickers from 2015-2016. And then I think with the 2016-2017 update, she updated these to be double-sided flags. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. And then the blank one. So I actually utilize these quite a bit. Mm. These cute little chat boxes. I definitely will probably use these. Or if I don't, I'll add them to my giveaway pile. These I'm going to use. These I think are so, so cute. I've been watching or I've been looking at Planning World stickers and she specializes in foil stickers for your planner. And before I go ahead and buy from her, I'm just going to try these out and see how I like them. I think that they're really elegant too. So, but the, I really enjoy how much, you know, she's, she's added a lot of different pizzazz to her planners. Um, and I think that she's kind of playing off the planner community. And I think that's great because we are helping each other essentially. And then we have the blank appointment labels with the white out in the middle. So those will be helpful. Like I said from in the beginning, when I said, um, when I mentioned about the year at a glance, I really want to use this planner through and through. So like from the front to the back, which is also why I got the July to July planner because I don't want to waste any months. This planner, this older planner was 18 months. So I had it through December, 2016. I did not use it because when that new planner came out, I thought, oh, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. But then I settled on so much crafting inserts and just started to use my Kiki K. Um, so to finish out with the planner review we just have this nice little folder in the back and so this is actually instead of using this item I actually will just use the, these pockets here and just stick some sticker sheets in there if I need stuff but if I'm like in dire dire need I'm just gonna probably use some of these but for the most part my plans like my stickers that are already in my planner are really what works for me and this is pretty I like that rose gold so even with the neutral I know that it seems a lot more plain than the colorful. Even with the neutral, we're still getting some pizzazz, so I like that. And I think too with the covers, you can you can add that creativity and add that um, that color that you're kind of missing from the colorful while still having a clean and crisp planner. So here is the perpetual calendar. I'm actually not going to use this either because I have one that I'm that I that I work out of now, and it has I don't want to transfer everything over. So I'll also add this to the giveaway pile. Now these I know are super helpful. I track birthdays. I have a large family and my husband has a large family. So this my my perpetual calendar is filled to the brim right now. And then here we have one more um, wedding race area to write to jot down some more extra notes. So there's the planner. I am super excited to start bringing you all content. And like I said, please just go ahead and leave some comments down below of some things you wanna see, some Etsy sticker shops you wanna explore that maybe you want me to take the bite first. Thank you for liking, or thank you for coming and watching this video. Please like it and subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Bye.